Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session of Dentistry and More. So today we have a Dentist Act. So Dentist Act is a little bit history of Dentist Act. It was passed by Indian Parliament. It includes association with All India Dental Association. So it was passed in 29th March 1948. So it is an act to regulate the profession of dentistry in India. So it has basically five chapters and their subsections. So in this video I am not going to explain in and out about uh, dentist act. I just want to show you the various chapters and the main highlighted features. Uh, in each chapter what are those chapters and uh, this chapter 2 dental council of india we are dealing in detail in another video so let me tell you in brief about the dentist act of india so we should not forget the name dr r ahmed who is known as the father of indian dentistry he has finished his uh, university uh, dentistry from University of Iowa in 1910. Then he came back to his native place that is Calcutta and started a dental college that is Bengal Dental School. That was the first dental college. Then in 1949, he donated this college to uh, government of India. So that was uh, R. Ahmed who was the first uh, person who started a dental association that is Bengal Dental Association <coughs> and also he forms helps to form the Bengal Dentist Act in 1939 so he was a pioneer in Indian dentistry so is known as all these contributions uh, make make him to the privileged uh, position that is father of Indian dentistry Dr. R. Ahmed from Kolkata so these are the five chapters of dentist act of india which was passed by parliament in 1948 so every uh, then every act like uh, indian penal code uh, crpc the factory law and the water law every law uh, like uh, dentist law also has many chapters and many subsections it's not easy to explain every chapter and every subsection <laughs> so i just want to have a very brief uh, intro of each uh, chapter so the first one uh, introduction where they are mentioning about the dentist act and uh, what is a council and what is a dental hygienist mean and what is a dental mechanic what is dentist and what is dentistry all these definitions are given in introduction chapter that is chapter one and a medical practitioner prescribed state dental council so all these are in gen, uh, chapter 1. Chapter 2, Dental Council of India, we are dealing in our next video in detail. So let's not uh, go, in, go here, uh, Dental Council of India, that is chapter 2. So they are seeing uh, everything about Dental Council of India, its uh, composition qualifications and its uh, duties, everything in next video. So the chapter 3 is state and state dental council. So there is only one dental council of India and each state would have one dental council that is state dental council. Let's see more detail about state dental council. So every state have one dental council where every uh, dentist of that state will be registering to. So let's see the composition mode of election president, vice president. So how the select members are selected here. The four members are selected by part a of the state dental register and four members are part b so part b is nothing but the dentist who were practicing in india before the independence or at least before the dentist act came into existence that is 1949 so those dentists who were practicing before 1949 will be under part b so part b i think it is removed uh, uh, from the state dental council in the recent amendment so anyway, four members from part A and four members from part B. So in uh, Dental Council of India, again, uh, six members uh, nominated by central government, four members from part A and two members from part B. So nowadays, uh, part B selection is not there. Part B participation is not there. 
and uh, again the constitution it includes the heads of dental colleges in that state and one member uh, elected from the medical council of that state and three members nominated by state government and one chief medical officer so these are the uh, members in the state dental council okay so four members from dentist party and form from part b and heads of dental colleges and one member from the MCA, three from state government, and one chief medical officer. So elections will be conducted like a democratic way, and the final decision by the state government. So president and vice presidents, their role, their duties, executive committee, which consists of president, vice president, and chief medical officer. <laughs> so chapter four is registration. Registration, but so chapter one was introduction where they are mentioning about dentist dental hygienist dental mechanic what is dentistry so chapter 2 about dental council of india chapter 3 about state dental council and chapter 4 is registration how we register and how what occasions we can transfer the register what time we should renew it what are the other uh, things are mentioned in chapter 4 that is a renewal fees effect of registration transfer of registration registration of dental hygienist dental mechanic and other thing so preparation there are two parts part a and part b so every state will have a dental register so every state dental council so part a is like persons with a dental qualification degree they are registered to state dental council so ultimately it is registering to dental council of india but the persons not possessing such qualifications being registered in part b because those who are practicing before 1949 will be entered into part b and they have to uh, keep a register and there will be a separate register for dental hygienist and dental mechanic and renewal of fee that is uh, the state government may direct the that the retention of a name and register after the 31st december following the year in which the name is first entered the register and this shall be paid annually to state dental council that is every year or if it is uh, for many years now right now it is for five years so before that every year we have to renew our uh, annual fee now they are giving a five year tenure so five year uh, period uh, we can uh, pay our fee and uh, renew our registration So effective registration we can transfer a registration because we might go to other states for doing our post graduation and uh, we come back uh, to our new state or if you are doing uh, education or industry at a different state if it's Karnataka and we want to register in Kerala so we need to get a migration certificate if you want to do internship in one college uh, other than where we studied BDS so all these process are involved are coming under registration okay so chapter 5 is miscellaneous where they are uh, the uh, dentist act explaining about people who are not dentist and if they are working as dentist and what are the punishment and what are the other uh, like uh, people who are not being a person whose name is entered on register of dental hygienist and they if they act as a or if they work as a dental hygienist what would be the punishment all those things are explained in miscellaneous part so that was uh, like uh, amendment in 1993 and recent one amendment was there so that was about um, dentist act of india so ultimately it has five chapters and many sections chapter one introduction Chapter 2 DCA, Chapter 3 State Dental Council, Chapter 4 Registration, and Chapter 5 Miscellaneous. Just uh, four more questions will be commonly asked. So, you know, you know to write everything about uh, Dentist Act. So, very few points you can mention. So, uh, the next uh, sessions will be on uh, Dental Council of India later. Idea. So, I'll come up with these two topics in Dentist Dental Thank you.